Good evening. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, class? Yeah, I can hear you now. Perfect. How are you? I'm doing I okay. You. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, welcome back. How was your day today? Was, well, <laughs> well, it was normal. It was normal today. All right. I, 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 I don't want to talk something that, uh, that I heard just a few, a few seconds ago. Okay. I, I, I don't want to talk about that. I think you, you think of what I'm talking about. Uh, not exactly. Is it related with the speech of the president? No? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, no, uh, let's, let's, let's not, not talk about that. Okay, yeah, no, I, I, don't know, I, don't know, I don't know what he said because I teach a class from 8 to 9 p.m. Uh, I, so guess, I have I no guess. idea what he uh, said. Okay, but, okay. Uh, let's talk about other things better. Yeah, okay, please. good. All right, so <laughs> okay, yeah. welcome back, everybody. Bersabe, Jason, Jose Armando, Eduardo, Carlos. What is today's date? Today is 24. Today is the 24th. Yes. So if today is the 24th, what date is tomorrow? So if today is the 24th, what's tomorrow? 25th. 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 Yeah. 25th. 25th. Hello, yeah. teacher. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Carlos. Thank you. Yes. So, how do you say pasado mañana in English? The day after tomorrow. Very good. The day after tomorrow. How do you say anteayer? It's literal too. The day before yesterday. The day before yesterday. That is correct. So, if today is the 24th, what date was the day before yesterday? 22nd. Wait, wait, I, okay. Yeah, 22nd. What date is the day after tomorrow? 26. 26, tomorrow is the 25th. Remember that in English, uh, every day is ordinal. Spanish is different. You say primero de mayo, what is the following day? Dos de mayo. Primero de diciembre, what's the following day? Dos de diciembre. But English is different. Every, every day is ordinal. First, second, third, blah, 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 and so on. All right, let's talk about yesterday. Do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I had in my mind one word that I have, I have plenty of here that I have that I have in here. Okay. Uh, that 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 word it was a uh, su, su, uh, superb. Oh, supper. Supper. Yeah, supper. Long time no no hear that word. Okay, good. Yeah. So when do Salvadorians yeah. have a supper? Christmas, Mother's Day, Father's Day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, but, but me, Mister, but that that word we don't use it. We don't use it too much in in these days, isn't it? Um. It, it depends. So imagine that your son is graduated from, from high school, university, yeah. and then someone asks you, so what plans do you have to celebrate? Oh, I will offer a supper. But uh, the, the people say we're, we're going to offer a dinner. Uh, it depends. Yeah, you can say dinner, but if the dinner has a lot of meaning for you, people would usually say supper. Oh, okay. Now, okay. So, what did we talk about yesterday, class? Yes. What did we? Uh, Bersabe? Okay. Uh, we we check the um, this uh, a sentence using uh, the past participle. Uh, like adjective exactly. at the end. Exactly. And the... <clears throat> yes. yes. 
So remember that past participles, they have a lot of functions. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, Bersabe. I'm testing if Apple. Yes. So past participles, they have a lot of functions, including um, they have the function of adjectives. So you say, my car is broken, uh, my watch is uh, chipped, uh, my favorite pens are stained. So you're using past participles as adjectives. Yes. Okay. What else did we talk about? What, what was the other topic, class? Yes. Sorry, teacher. Can you can you watch me right now? Yes, Before? I can see you. I can see you, Versa. Uh, Good. Okay. Bye. Nice. Okay. So, what was the other topic, Bye. class? About meals. About meals. Yes, we had a conversation about meals. Exactly. Any questions or comments about yesterday? No, your, your silence says a lot. So your silence says, no, we don't have any questions. All right, good. So um, have you had the chance to um, visit the platform? No, that, that I, 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 no, I haven't made that. Man, I have a question, I have, I have, I have, I have a, a question. Wait, wait, I'm going to, yeah, wait, I'm going to tell you, how, here, when they, they send me a message uh, and I need to open that page. Yes. You need to open and, that email. Okay, yeah, having me. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Yes, and, and when you open that email, um, that email has different links. So if you want to check yesterday's class or the class about the day before yesterday, you click on the... Uh, a YouTube channel. You click and uh, automatically yeah, okay. it takes you there. If you uh, here. if you want to be uh, yeah. part of the WhatsApp chat, you click uh, there uh, and uh, automatically okay. it takes you there. Uh, yeah. I uh, get it. I get it. All right. Okay. Thank so um, let's begin. Uh, let's see this here. Let me show you this page. Have you gotten to this uh, part yet? No, completely no. in my case. Okay, all right. So let me explain this. When you want to express problems, uh, this is the structure that we use. How do you say el carro sigue haciendo ruido? Uh, the house, uh, sorry, the car is, it continue making noise. Okay, can you see my For page? You or, 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 can you see my page? Yeah. Okay. Yes. What is what is the form that? Uh huh. So how do you say el carro sigue haciendo ruido? The carro keep crashing. Keeps making noise. Keeps crashing. So you say, look, the car keeps making noise. So whenever you want to express a problem, you will use the word keep plus the ing form of the verb. How do you say el televisor se sigue apagando? The Russian. television. The TV is uh -huh. turning on. Okay, keeps turning off. It keeps crashing. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you say el niño sigue quemando papel? The boy keeps burning paper. Paper, very good. So once again, when you want to express a problem, um, you use the word keep in the ing form of the verb. So look at the first one. My computer is driving me crazy. So what would be the correct form here? My computer is driving is, is me crazy. Uh-huh. Keep, keep going there. Okay, now or when keeps, you... Or keeps breaking down as well. Okay, yes, there are different options. My question is the following. Yeah. When you use the, um, the personal pronoun it, you need to 
include S to the verb because it's the third person singular. Third person. So my sister works in a factory. My brother uh, drives a nice car, a nice car. My sister lives in Chalatenango. So whenever you're using something with the third person singular, you need to include S to the verb. So when we're saying it, it is part of the third person singular. So the word keep needs to have an S. So my yeah, computer is driving me crazy. It keeps freezing, it keeps maybe freezing. I think. Yeah, it, now the computer can give you different problems. So it yeah. keeps breaking down, it keeps crashing, it keeps going dead, it keeps freezing, it keeps skipping. So what problems can a computer give you? Keep, keeps, keeps going breaking deep. down. Okay, so it keeps crashing, it keeps breaking, breaking down. down, it keeps going keeps dead, going. and I mean, there are different things. What about the second one? Yeah. The buttons on the remote control always stick. They keep jamming. They keep jamming. They keep jamming. They keep, keep jamming. Keeping. Right. Now remember, in this case, uh, Letter S does not apply to the verb because you apply the S when you're talking about he, she, it. Okay. What about question three? That used CD player offered jumps to another song. It? It keeps skipping. Keeps skipping. Yeah, it keeps skipping. Now remember that skip is a synonym of jump or going from one to another <coughs> without order. Then you have number four, our new flat screen TV has a problem. What is the problem? It keeps going dead. dead. Okay, it keeps going dead. Yeah. What else can be a problem with the television? It's breaking down. Keeps breaking down, it keeps freezing. Maybe you go to channel four and without touching the control, it goes to channel 12. So he said, it keeps keeping. So there are different forms or options that are uh, uh, problems that a television can give you. What about number five? Those old cell phones never work right anymore. They, they what? They keep going dead. They keep going dead. That's a possibility. What else? They keep jamming. They keep jamming. It's possible. Yeah. Okay. And number six, sometimes Ed can't use his solar power calculator. It, it what? It keeps going dead. It keeps yeah, going dead. Can... That's a possibility. So, you're using it, it goes dead, and then the next day it's working normal again. It's a possibility. What is another possibility for number six? It's, it's, it keeps it's keeping, going breaking dead. down. Okay, it keeps breaking down. It keeps going dead. Yes. All right. And number seven, my computer screen needs to be replaced. It keeps freezing. It keeps freezing. Keeps freezing. Yep. Exactly. All right. And number eight, the answering machine never picks up any calls. It. It keeps what? Breaking, breaking down. It keeps breaking down. Sure. Keeps crashing. Keeps jamming. So there are different problems that uh, an answering machine can give you. So here's the message. When you want to express a problem with an object or with somebody, um, you will have to use keep plus the ing form of the verb. Any questions? How do you read number yeah. eight? How do you read those two words? 
The answering. The answering. The answering. Okay, do you say the answering or the answering? Which is it D or the? The, the, the answering. The answering. Yeah, the answering. Why do you say D and not the? Your because answer is good. The answering. Uh huh. Because of the A? Right. So you say D when the following sound is a vowel. You say the when the following uh, sound is a consonant. So it's exactly the same word, but it's got uh, two possible pronunciations. So if the next sound is a vowel, you say D. If the next sound is a consonant, you say the. All right, any questions or comments about this exercise? I, th I, I thought it was because of the ING. Not exactly. Uh, you will say D if the initial sound of the following word is a vowel. And you will say the if the initial sound of the following word is a consonant. Yep. Okay. All right. Any questions or comments, people? No. Yeah, I have a question. No, no. And, and sometimes some people say I have, have and, and, and another, another, another person doesn't I have. What is the difference and what is the correct for have? Me? Now, uh, you know, in terms of pronunciation, uh, there is certain pronunciation that will depend where you're from, whether you're Canadian, uh, from the States, Australian, Jamaican. So uh, people in the States, they usually say have. Okay. I have a problem. I have a dream. Now, you can say have, maybe, uh, if you come from a different place. So it depends where you're from, Ovidio. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. All right. But good. It's, it's, it's the same. It's, it's not it's not problem. No, no. You can say I have or I have. It, it depends where you are. Okay. Thanks. Yes. All right. Good. Very good. Any other questions or comments? No. Oh, okay. So, uh, how many tenses do we have in English? How many tenses are there? Where? Uh, in English, how many tenses are there in English? What tenses? Okay. Um, how many tenses? Okay, how many tenses are there in English? Okay. How many tenses are there in English? When I say tenses, I mean tiempos gramaticales. Future, past, like times. Progressive. Progressive, exactly. Yes. Uh, present uh -huh. perfect, past perfect. So in English, continuous, it, it, past it, continuous. exactly. Present continuous, past continuous. So in English, we have 12 tenses. There are 12 oh. tenses. The idea is that when you guys finish. Uh, Studying the language, when you're having a conversation, you make a combination of the 12 tenses spontaneously, without thinking, without worrying about grammar. So there are 12 tenses. Now, let me ask you this. Do you remember your first English class? Do you remember when you were in basic one? Do you remember? Yes, no? verb to be. yes, I did. Okay, verb to be. Am is are. So whenever you go study the language, you start in basic one. The book that you're using, top notch, uh, interchange, step by step, whatever the name is, they always start with with a tense. It can be present continuous, and sometimes it's the simple present tense. Now, what is the difference between the simple present and the present continuous? The simple present tense, simple present, uh -huh. is to, to speak a action that we are doing right now. But in continuous, we are talking about an action that we are doing in the moment. Okay, okay. Someone else, another opinion? 
the difference between the simple present and the present continuous. Don't, don't be shy. Simple present and present continuous. Continuous. Present continuous, we, we um, add to the verb ing. Okay. Right? Right. And what is the function of ing in that case, Nestor? Well, well it's to, to say that if something is happening continuously. Right. right. Yes. So the ing will indicate that the action is in progress. I am speaking, you're listening, you're taking notes, you're making questions. So the present continuous indicates an action in progress. What about the simple present? Uh, when you go to a job interview, there is one question they always ask you. What is that question? What's your name? Okay, hmm. what's your name? So when you say your name, my name is Francisco, and, and what else do you say about you? Do you remember the famous question, tell me about yourself? Do you remember that question? Yes. Okay, so yes. if you go to a job interview and they ask you, tell me about yourself, what information do you, do you give? What information do you share? Maybe the things that, do you, that you like. You. The things that you like, very good. What else? The about age. your hobbies. The age, your hobbies, very good. What else? Your family situation. Exactly. Yeah, where your you marital live? status, where you live. Exactly. So when you go to a job interview and they ask you, uh, Francisco, tell me about yourself. So I said, I'm 49 years old. I live in Lourdes. I have five children. Uh, I'm married, blah, blah, blah. So I give personal information. So you use the simple present tense to talk about general information. With the present continuous, you're talking about actions that are in progress right now. Do you see the difference? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Any questions so far? No, sir. Okay, what is the auxiliary that you use to make questions in the simple present? Do. Do. Do and? Are. You. Okay, are is a possibility. Okay, so you use do and does. Do you have a brother? Does she have children? Or verb to be. So remember, if you want to talk about actions, you have to make the question with auxiliary do or does. Does she work on Saturdays? Does he drive a car? Those are actions. If you want to talk about conditions, you will have to use any of the three forms of verb to be in present. What are the three forms of verb to be in present? Uh -huh. Simple. Um, R is? Yes. R is. M is R. Very good. M is R. M is R are the three forms of verb to be in present. Very good. So, um, any questions so far? No. No? All right. So, before I show you your next um, exercise, uh, when do we use the simple past tense? So we said general information. To express an action. Uh -huh. Adriana? To express uh, an action uh, or event uh, was in the past. Okay. So we use the simple past to talk about events in the past. In other words, we're talking about events that are finished. How do you say, yo nací en San Salvador? I was born, I was born. in San Salvador. I was born in San Salvador. How do you say, yo, yo me crié en la Sacamil? I grew up. I, I grew up. I grew up, or I was raised I was in raised. la Sacamil. I was raised, I grew up. Very good. How do you say, no te vi ayer? 
I didn't okay. see it yesterday. Okay. Yes. okay. And how do you make the question synastis? Did you eat Did you have dinner? dinner? Did you eat dinner? Did you have dinner? Very good. So all those questions, all the information that you're giving me right now, you will put it into practice with the next exercise. Let me show you right here. New share. See this here. I I I I, I have a question. Yes, sir. Okay. Do uh, do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. okay. Is it right to say, did you eat software or, or did you eat or did? Yes. Is, is, if, sounds good. Sounds yes. good to say, did you eat supper? Did you eat supper? Yes. Now, remember, you use supper like if you went to a graduation party. Yeah. And yes, it was about this time. Say, hey, did you eat supper? Yes, I ate supper. It was delicious. Uh, yeah. Sure, you uh, can. Okay. Yes. So, you. You, you, you can you can use both words eat eat and supper did you eat supper or did you have supper yes okay good all Thanks. right so this is what we will do with with this exercise how many um exercises do you see there 14 14, 14. Well. okay if you analyze the first and the second one he goes to bed early. Which tense is this? He goes to bed early. Simple present. Simple present. Simple present. So you have to transfer this information to the simple past. He went to bed early. Number two, we don't like onions. What is your mission? To transfer this information to the simple past. We didn't like onions. Now, when you're using the simple past tense, you guys got to be careful with the ed pronunciation so in number three we say start lives in vancouver how do you transfer that information to the simple past Stuart lived in very lived. good lived Stuart in lived in vancouver yes. Stuart lived in vancouver so if you want to take a screenshot from uh right now go ahead and do it let me see, 9 to 10 p.m. Where are you? Right here. Okay, so what is going to be your task? Your task will be, you will transfer this information to the simple past tense. So if it's negative, you have to say didn't, the form of the, ver the, ver of the verb stays uh, base form. If you wanna make a question, you're gonna use did or was or were, and so on. Okay, are you ready for this exercise? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes. All right, let me assign you, create rooms, and here we go. Practice your speaking, making emphasis with the simple past form.
they played they played played video games yes, yes. Uh, he, uh number seven he knows the answer he yes. knew he knew the answer good yes, that's correct okay number we we can ask him ah okay what's the question um the with the number five we were discussing if we have to use the verb cooking as i hate to cook or just i hate to cook with oh, okay. id form good, good question uh there are some verbs that you can use them in the two options so you can say i hate to cook or you can say i hate cooking so you uh when you transfer that information to the simple past you should say i hated cooking Ah, the verb hate. Yeah, so the verb hate uh, gets conjugated to the simple past. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, so I hated cooking. Yeah. Uh-huh. Good. Okay. Good. Thank you. All right. I forgot. Yes. My they didn't study history. They didn't write. because I, I I just enter yes in this moment which number are you doing <laughs> no we have because I, I don't have the, the page oh okay and now I'm, I'm entering you I'm, in the now chat. I'm, I'm, I'm entering to the whatsapp group Oh, okay. Thank you in the chat. Okay. Now, if you can send, so, but so you are, can are send you me, are are you in the WhatsApp chat already, uh, now, Eduardo? Yeah, our, I already entered. I just entered, but they, you you have to send me now the the, the sure the sure. Give me a second. Yeah, I just entered just now. Okay, give me a second because Sarai already shared in the. Hold on. Oh, let me see. Okay, uh, nine to ten p.m. right here. Oh, here is wait. Shot one. Ah, uh, here is. So you got somebody. You got it. Let me see where it is. His. I need to put where. I need to put a, 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 I need to go to, 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 jo to join chat. Right. Yeah. You joined the chat already. Your, your, your number is 7930-8588. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Now it is. Now I get it. All right. right now I get it. I get it now. Good. Okay. Which number you want? Does does she exercise? Is uh, don't don't look so good here. Yeah, the, the but, image is not too clear. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to download it here. Okay, let me. Sarai, are you teaching right now? Yes, I I am teaching. In the mornings? In the mornings, sometimes in the in the night when I have class in the university. Okay. All oh, right. Sarai, I did a, you, you're a teacher. Yes, I am a teacher. I didn't know. And you're a teacher for kids or for, for, for all for for 
or, or, or teenagers. Teenagers. And I give class in uh, high school and yeah. in, in the university. As well in the university. Uh, you give, I can, I uh, can uh, hear you. You can hear me. Uh, you give classes in the university as, uh, 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 as well. Ah. No, I'm asking you. You, you, you give classes at the university as well. Yes. Oh, I didn't know. Yes, in the in UCA. Right now, um, um, how do you say chief? Um, yes. And it's very it's uh it's very complicated uh to manage the people, but we are working right now in this way because it's is is um how do you say recommendable recommendable it's recommendable <laughs> yes uh -huh. thank you sir thank you uh -huh. yes about the 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 problem right now and in my company because i i work in intradesa is it's a big company we need to take care uh because uh each facility has a lot of people and this okay is, and is is it located in Lourdes? Uh, no, it is located in San Bartolo, um, Soyapango, and Santa Ana. Okay. I I work uh, uh, taking care of the quality, uh, and I I re, I check the facilities uh, of Santa Ana, San Bartolo, Soyapango. Okay. It's a lot of work. All right. Okay. And how much time have you been in that company, Versailles? Wow. I have 2001, 2020. Okay. Like oh, 20, no, 20 years. 20, yes, approximately. Yeah, yes. That's a long time. Yes. 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 I love oh. my work. Good. <laughs> play Very good. Yes, it's, it's, it's fine. Yeah. When you love what you do, you don't have to work. Yes. I I wanted to to ask you a, a, a question. Yes. Uh, when you uh, 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 when you were my teacher, you used a long a little long hair, no? No, no. A little, no, no, like right now. Uh, uh, Not exactly. I, I remember have, you. Uh, do you remember your classmates? Um, there was yes. a guy, uh, he was a taxi driver. Yes, yes, I was, uh, remember yesterday uh, about about him because uh, I lost the com the contact, the communication with him. Okay. Um, there was another guy that yes. he worked in uh, Electronica 2000, I think it was the name. I think his name was yes, Omar, yes. I think. <laughs> Yeah. You have a good memory. I yes, know. I, I remember that group very well. Very, very Thank well. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Yes, we were very good students. Yeah, you were good. <laughs> remember that I used to assign journals every every Sunday you gave me a journal? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, and I remember your journals were very good. They were very outstanding. Thank you, sir. I... I was very happy in, I feel very um, comfortable with you because you were a very good teacher. Oh, I, thank you. I learned a lot. Very because good. Because you, you um, took the take care uh, with the, the group, the complete group. Okay, good. Very good. Thank you so much. Good thank you so that. much. Very good. Nice. I'm very grateful with, uh, with you, I think. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Sometimes uh, I work next to the windows and, and in the meeting, uh, can you hear uh, la papa, la papa, la papa, and, <laughs> and other, <laughs> and other Interrupters. And other interruption. Okay, where, where do you work, Julius? In Tigo. Oh, in Tigo. yes. I work at Tigo and I work for situation in a home office. But I 
I have a lot of distraction in my home. My child, the the, the sales. The sales. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Another, another yeah, thing. doing home office, you know, it has advantages, but it also has disadvantages, you know, like you have distractors, you know. Yes. And the... I have a start time for, for work, but the finish <laughs> is very complex. It's very complicated. 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 Because the people continue work at 8 p.m., 9 p.m., and send email and exactly. other things. Exactly. What time do you start working, Julius? 8. 8, 8 a.m. Okay, mm -hmm. and apparently, what is the time you're supposed to finish? Uh, 6.30. 6.30. 6.30 p.m., yes. Okay. All but right. regularly, I finish my work at night or, or 8 p.m. Yeah. For example, yesterday, I had a problem with, with my class because I, I finished my, my work uh, at 11 p.m. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. kind of late. Yes, and, right. and when you when you travel to to office, you finish six thirty, and you you travel to home and finish maybe sometimes uh, to disconnect to work. Right, right. All right, Nestor. It's, re it's really good. To, it's really good to skip traffic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's one of the main advantages when you're doing a uh, home office. You know, like right now. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, uh, traffic. Yep. Yes. Where do you work, Mister? I work for a company named Exa. Okay. And what does Exa do? Uh, we are a um, technology business. Okay. Good. And we we see everything from uh, structure cabling. I'm working specifically specifically for uh, the security electronic department. Uh -huh. I see all kinds of projects uh, from CCTV, alarm system, fire and suppression, uh, fire detection and suppression, um, also access control. Okay. okay. And you guys are located in San Salvador? Yes, we are located in Colonia Escalón. Okay, all right. And do you live near your work? Uh, more or less. Um, I live in Mexicanos. Okay. It's in like 11 kilometers from my home to, to the office. Okay. But usually the traffic, it's really complicated. Right, right. Yeah, so I think it's a big advantage when we're doing home office. You know, you don't worry about traffic. You don't have to spend uh gasoline if you have a car or motorcycle or the money for the bus so it's got pros and cons yes, yes. also also i prefer sometimes to be at the office because i've got ac <laughs> okay right <laughs> i have a com a more comfortable chair right <laughs> right right yeah okay so let me visit one more room and then we go back to the main session I think it's, it's kind of heavy, but that, that thing. Hello, teacher. How are you, Carlos? We are doing great. Did you finish all the exercises? Yes. I think. Okay. Good. I think it's time to go back to the main session. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, welcome back. Let me see this here. All right. Uh, may I have a volunteer to do number three, please? Stuart lives in Vancouver. Stuart lived in Vancouver. Okay. Does she exercise? Another volunteer? Did she exercise? Did she exercise? I hate cooking. Mm -hmm. 
I hate cooking. I hated cooking. I hated I cooking. Hate. Uh huh. Number six, they play video games. Anybody? They played with idiot. They played video, video games. games. Good. They played video games. Nice. He knows the answer. He knew the answer. He knew the answer. Good. I forget his name. I forgot. I forgot his name. Number nine, they don't study history. They didn't study history. They didn't study history. What about number 10? Do they drive? Did they drive? Did they, did they, drive? they drive. Very good. Jenny works at a hotel. Jenny worked at a hotel. Nice. Jenny worked at a hotel. Do you swim? Did you swim? Did you swim? Very good. 13, we don't like the movie. We didn't like, we didn't yeah. like the movie. We didn't like the movie. 14, where do you live? Where did you live? Where did you live? Nice. Okay. They don't drink tea. They didn't drink tea. They didn't, they didn't drink, drink tea. tea. The class, no, they start class at 8 o'clock. They started, they started, started, started. 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 yes. They started That's class at 8 o'clock. Does she eat breakfast? Did she eat breakfast? Did, Did she, she eat, eat breakfast? Very good. I don't run fast. I didn't run. I didn't run. Good. He has a car? He had a car. He, he had, had a car. car. Do you enjoy sports? Did you enjoy, Did you enjoy, you enjoy this? this? Very good. All right. Any questions about this exercise? No, sir. No? All right. So let's go to our last uh, activity, which is related with um, speaking. Let me show you this here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you see the questions? Yes. Okay. What is the conversation about? About meat. About meat. About meat. meat. Exactly. About yeah. meat. So let me um, send you the questions to the WhatsApp chat. If you want to take a screenshot right now, go ahead and do it. Let me assign you to work in pairs again. This is the space that you have to practice your um, speaking with someone else. So exchange with him and I will exchange with him. All right, let's do this. Questions, answers, questions, answers. Meat, what is meat? It's uh, carne, verdad? Uh -huh. 
Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, thank God. you. Oh, um, Maybe a restaurant. <laughs> yes, restaurant, the Pampa. <laughs> La Pampa. <laughs> yes. Do humans, the, do humans need to eat meat? Mm. Mm, I think uh, no necessary, but I like it. <laughs> Delicious. 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 Yes. For protein, protein is, is a yes. It maybe yeah, you can protein. maybe can eat uh, other. How do you say substitute? Substitutes. Substitutes. Uh huh. But but uh, some people's lean without meat. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Meat yes. is for delicious. For example, I have a, a friend. Uh, she she work at Pollo Indio, and she uh, she can't eat chicken. <laughs> yeah, she hate. Yeah, because hate, she sees chicken, chicken, chicken every day. Yes. She, yes. Maybe. Okay. That we say. Exercise, yes. it is unhealthy. But in the correct uh, portions, it's a healthy food. Yes. For, uh -huh. for example, uh, at this moment, I am a diet because I have excessive proteins in my body because I, I eat only red red meat i don't like okay. white meat and okay. uh, my doctor says that i have a lot of proteins and it is uh, unhealthy for my my liver yeah what is the liver what is liver uh-huh what is, is liver it? yep uh, okay yeah, so watch your food, Janita. Yes, because I liked a lot, of, for example, shrimps, shrimps or fish. I yeah. like a lot. Yeah. But doctor says that I, I don't have to eat that kind of meat. Yeah. I, I, I eat a lot of meat too, you know, fish, chicken, beef, all kinds. Yeah. I don't like chicken. I never eat chicken. Really? Yes, I don't like I don't like chicken anything. is delicious. All right. Yes, but I don't like. I only eat red uh, meat. Beef. Red meat. Red meat. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, maybe are against. I think so. Maybe because they want to be more more healthy. That, that's why they don't eat meat. I think I think because of that. Mm. I I, ne I never had asked to one the Italian why they why may to the one to the people that I know that are vegetarians, they say because they want to be healthier. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wild, wild, barbecue, roast. What's the best way of cooking meat? What's the best way to of cooking meat? Well, the best ways depend how you taste. That's the truth. And what is the healthiest form? The healthiest. Is it grilled, barbecued, or roasted? Well, grilled and barbecue are for the same. Me, for me, it's grilled. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, it, it, it depends on, on, on your taste. But well. yeah. mm -hmm. Exactly. It depends on your taste. Yeah. I love grills. I love grills. Yeah, yeah, as, as well. Yep. All right. Let me visit one more room. Not very, very juicy or very delicious. Like horse, horse meat. I think that's unhealthy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 for example, if you... Cooked or uncooked, I think that's unhealthy. Exactly. But if, for example, if you try the meat from Nicaragua, is completely different to our national meat. Is it better? 
Um, yeah, I think it's better. Yeah. I like it. I like they, it. They have a lot of land. A lot of land. A lot, yes. Maybe these, these animals have to walk a lot of distances. You know, they, they have a lot, a less fat, I think. Right, yeah. I have visited Nicaragua like three or four different times. And I noticed that the times that I go there, it's normal to see cows and bulls uh, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, everywhere. And a lot of virgin land. land. Yeah, a lot of virgin uh, land. Yep, yep. Virgin and lazy land. <laughs> yeah, you know, Nicaragua is a very beautiful country. Really, yeah. really beautiful. You know, uh, when I went there, you know, I, I told my wife that if, uh, if I had the work that I have here in El Salvador, it's possible that I will move to Nicaragua. And it's a nice country. Oh, really? Yeah. It is, it is. It is, but I, 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 I think about the political or economic situation, it is not beautiful. No, so. no, it's not good. Yeah. You know, it, it's one of the safest countries in Latin America, but That's it's true. also one of the worst with, in terms of economy. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's curious, but it's true. Yeah, yeah, but it's a, it's a nice, nice country. Really, really nice country. Let me visit the terrorists one. over there are the police. Right, right. You have to be careful. You have to watch your back with the police officers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They always ask, uh, try to put you in, in a situation that you are in a problem and they ask you for money. Yeah, yeah, true. All especially, right. Especially if they know if, if, that you are from El Salvador. Right. Because of the dollars. Right, right. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Probably, I, I think, probably it's delicious. I don't know. Okay. Um, um, let yes. me see. Con don't, um. Continue, continue. Uh, uh, we're going yeah. back to the main Do session you think now. Meat? Ah, okay, okay, sir. Ah, okay. Okay, what, what, okay. what okay. question were you Thank going you. to read, Herbert? Uh, number six? Number six. So yes. do you think meat mm -hmm. eaters are healthier than those who don't eat meat? What do you think? Uh, it's hard, hard to say. I need the staticles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye, Bersabe. All right, welcome back. Um, any questions or comments related with meat? Do you like the raw meat, teacher? Uh, raw meat? <laughs> you know, I, 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 I am a, I'm a very big sympathizer of, of, of meat. You know, chicken, beef, fish. I don't like pork too much, but I eat it. Okay. With all types of meat. Yeah. How do you say res in English? Oh. Um, I don't know. Beef. 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 Uh huh. Beef. Let me let me write it. It's B E. Yeah, beef. Beef. How do you say cerdo? Um, pork. 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 Now remember, pork. pork is the meat, pig is the animal. Ah, uh, yes. So, so you say beef, pork, fish, chicken, hen. Chicken. So, anyways, no. um, any questions or comments about today's class? No, no, teacher. No, teacher. Thank Everything you. is clear. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sir. so thank you very yeah. much for making the space, for making the time. Uh, remember that the first week we start on Tuesday and we finish tomorrow. Uh, next week we start Monday and then we finish every every Thursday. So I'll be seeing you tomorrow, eight o'clock. I mean nine o'clock. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Thank bye, you. Thank teacher. You. Bye, bye. Good night, good night. teacher. Good night, everyone. Bye, bye. bye, -bye.